boy this is a dpls 6318 paint sprayer and uh, this has a problem how this works is that when it reaches the pressure limit the pump stops and uh, this doesn't do that it just keeps pumping when i release the handle it should just stop when it reaches the pressure So as you just saw, the pump just keeps going until it gets overstressed or the hose explodes or something. So this is how it looks on the electrical side. So there is this power switch which disconnects both the L1 and the null the wires go to a bridge rectifier yes this has a DC motor and uh, here is a micro switch and uh, how this works is that when the pressure pushes this piston up it switches this micro switch and uh, there is this triac over there acting as a switch for the DC power of the motor and uh, I have measured that this micro switch works fine so the problem must be within this heat shrink, whatever there is, or the triac itself. So let's get investigating more. So what do we have here? We have a small circuit board with some nice hand soldering and uh, a couple of resistors and uh, I think those are varistors So how this works then, it looks like that the micro switch is conductive at the normal state and uh, when the piston rises it presses the switch and uh, it disengages. then the pump should stop and uh, the pressure would decrease again and uh, then the micro switch would engage again and uh, start the pump
parallelage are connected to these legs of the triac and uh, when this pin is energized through these or one of these resistors then this should be conductive and I don't see many possibilities for a malfunction other than the triac itself or these varistors being sorted but I think I will remove the triac now and see what kind of uh, resistance I get over these two contacts. This is a BTA 416-00B and uh, I just cut one pin and uh, measured the resistance over these two pins and uh, it definitely is shorted when I compare it to this one there isn't conductivity between these legs so now I will unsolder this and uh, install this to this circuit board and put some new heat shrink tubing over there and uh, then do some testing and this is back together now I used two layers of the heat shrink tube and uh, some thermal compound between the triac and uh, the body so let's get this back to the bathroom and uh, proceed with the test number two okay now the power is connected and uh, what should happen now is that the pump should start running and uh, when it reaches the set pressure it should stop okay let's see yes this is perfect as a measure of safety i reinstalled the junction box cover and the crankcase cover as there is water in here after all so there you have it thanks for watching